Dear viewers, I am Dr. Adil Riyaz, Consultant Radiologist at Elias Medicare and Diagnostic Center. And today we are here with the final episode of our abdominal ultrasound series. With this, we are coming to an end of the abdominal ultrasound course. And now in the next episode, I am going to start the pelvic ultrasound and then we will lead to the obstetrical ultrasound. So now I consider that most of my viewers know how to handle the probe and how to visualize the different structures of the abdomen separately. So in this episode, now we are going to compile all our previous episodes and um, I'm going to teach you how to perform a complete abdominal ultrasound in five to 10 minutes in a professional efficient manner. So coming to the ultrasound machine, for abdominal ultrasound, we are going to use our old friend, our curved array probe. We will apply the gel. And as we know, we can divide the abdomen in different quadrants like epigastric region, right hypochondrium, left hypochondrium, lumbar region, umbilical region. So I will recommend you that you start the scan from any one point and then lead to the other points in a sequence. So I personally like the right hypochondrium most to start with. So First of all, I will put my probe in the right hypochondrium in a horizontal plane. Here is the liver. Just by tilting the probe at the same point, this is the gallbladder. And asking my patient to take a deep breath, here is the kidney. I can visualize all the three organs in one single plane by placing my probe at the same site. <coughs> Just by changing the angle a little bit so i will completely evaluate the uh, liver here is the portal vein this is the portal vein and i will put the doppler to show you the flow in the portal vein here you can see the blood flow in the portal vein the liver is being visualized right lobe completely and gallbladder i have also seen now I will ask my patient to turn toward the uh, left side. Again, I will put my probe here. Turning the, in the opposite direction is very important because most of the time the stones in the gallbladder will be visible in the in neck region. The stones of the gallbladder, they will be visible on taking side here. You can see that I'm not moving my probe up very much. I'm just tilting it here and it will be showing the kidney. Here is the kidney. And when I will tilt it in the other direction, it will be showing the gallbladder and liver is visible all the time. Here I will freeze the image. I will take the measurement <coughs> for the liver. <coughs> then I will Focus the kidney and I will take the measurements for the kidney. One, two, length, width and cortical thickness. Then I will ask my patient again to lie straight. Next, put your probe in the umbilical region and suprapubic region. In the suprapubic region, I will put my probe in the suprapubic region and I will tilt it downward and here I can evaluate the urinary bladder. The urinary bladder is completely visible. Now I will uh, move my probe in the vertical direction and here all the urinary bladder is visible. Now moving forward, I will ask my patient to turn toward me or that is on the right side. And I will put my probe in the left lumbar area. In the left lumbar area, I will ask my patient to take a deep breath. It is just like in the same direction as I have put in the right lumbar, uh, right hypochondrium to visualize the liver. Now by putting my probe in the left lumbar region and I will tilt it a little bit anteriorly and superiorly. And left kidney will be visible. Here you can see I am going to focus the left kidney. Take a deep breath. Here 
here I will measure the left kidney and my probe is at the same point I have not changed the direction of my probe here is the kidney and by moving it superiorly I will be visualizing the spleen Pura turn, can I? apply the gel shirt this is the spleen take a deep breath now you can see the whole spleen is clearly visible actually the rib shadows are masking the spleen normal sounds this is here is the spleen this is the spleen i will measure its length and its width I have told you about the splenic index. Now you can see this is the kidney. The kidney is visible and part of the spleen is also visualized here. And I will tilt my probe just for a little bit medially and the spleen will be start appearing. Move the probe in the outward direction, kidney. Move the probe anteriorly and here is the spleen. Take a deep breath. And by asking the patient to take a deep breath, I can focus different parts of the both parts, uh, both organs, which are covered by liver, uh, sorry, uh, rib or gut shadows. Spleen, kidney. Again, spleen, kidney. The probe is at the same point, and I am oscillating between spleen and the kidney. Here you can see we are oscillating between spleen and the kidney. Now. The last point will be the epigastric region. The, in the epigastric region, I will put my probe and I will visualize the pancreas. And this is the outline of the stomach. Here behind this is the pancreas. And here is the pulsating aorta. You can see the aorta here. It is pulsating here. And now we will continue moving downward direction and in the umbilical region. Here I will evaluate the motility of the gut or any other structure and then coming to the last point I usually evaluate the right iliac fossa as a last point for especially for evaluating appendix so focus the right iliac fossa put your probe here and evaluate with both linear and curved array probes so in this way we can complete our abdominal ultrasound in 5 to 10 minutes. You will be evaluating all the parts of the abdomen, all the organs of the abdomen in a single go. I am again emphasizing on one point. We are not supposed to move our probe in a hosh posh manner. We have to stabilize the hand. We have to keep our hand stable, firm. Do not push too much. Just apply a gentle pressure so that the gut gases are uh, dislodged and you get a better visibility and move the movement of the hand should be at your wrist. The probe should you should be moving the probe with your wrist. Your elbow should be in a stable position. Otherwise, initially I have seen the people people moving the probe like this. You are not moving the spoon in a quadrant. We are not cooking, we are diagnosing things. So move your wrist and move the probe just a little bit and all the organs will be visible. Practice again and again and again and you will be perfect in this. Now with this we come to an, epi uh, an end of this episode. In the next episode I am going to tell you how to visualize the uh, uterus and the ovaries and we will be covering the gynecological uh, structures. To be realized and uh, in next episode after that we will start with the obstetrical ultrasound if you have any question any queries you are most welcome to ask your feedback is very important uh, i will recommend that if you want to um, suggest any specific topic do let me know i will be honoring your opinion thank you so much Allah.